Hi friends, in this video, I'm going to show OpenAM default installation. Actually, OpenAM we can install in two different ways from GraphQL user interface. One is OpenAM default installation, and second one is OpenAM custom installation. So, custom installation uh, details I have already given in the description. Please go through it. You can install OpenAM default installation in this video. Okay. So before going to start open AM default installation, we need to download the prerequisites. So prerequisites, what are the prerequisites? So Java 1.8 should be installed in our system. So you have to check Java either installed or not. So Java minus open the Windows command prompt and check Java hyphen version. So I have installed Java 1.8. So if not installed in our system, you can install in our system. And we need a Tomcat server, and we, and also we need OpenAIM wire. Okay, so how to download uh, Apache Tomcat server? So go to Apache Tomcat server. So here we, we are go, we are going to downloading Tomcat eight. Okay, so eight point five point five four. Click on the eight point five point four. You can see here. So there is a types of uh, uh, zip files like 32 bit, 64 bit, or like that. So according to your system, you can download uh, a specific uh, Tomcat version. Okay. Now I am downloading 64 bit Windows system. Okay. So already I have downloaded in my system. Like here I have already pasted Tomcat Apache Tomcat 8.5.4, and then we have to download uh, OpenAM software. So we have go to backstage.forgedog.com website. So here we have a download. So go to access management. And here I have downloaded 6.5.2. So I'm going to showing 6.5.2.2. So go to archive, go to access management, 6.5.2.2. So full release. So here we can uh, download AM zip. Okay, it will uh, we can download uh, required softwares also. Okay, so click on get. So you must be logged in, in to download this file. Okay, you have to uh, if you have to log in by using your credential. If not register, you have to register first in this website and then you can download. Okay. So in my system already I have downloaded OpenAM zip file and Apache Tomcat 8.3, 8.5.4. So now unzip these files. Now Apache Tomcat unzip and open AIM. I am unzipping. Yeah. So there is a Tomcat. Okay. So in this Tomcat, uh, so where you have to deploy uh, open AIM server, open AIM application, we have to deploy into Tomcat web apps folder here. Okay. So go to open AIM folder. Here we have a list of uh, uh, required softwares in which there is a uh, AM software okay the software is nothing but like a uh, application uh, where file because of this is a Java web application so copy this where file and paste into Tomcat um, folder web apps okay then copy it to uh, rename to AM so you can uh, rename to any with any name okay it's not uh, it's not a matter like you have to put it AM so you can give any name okay so uh, now so we have to change the Tomcat for uh, Tomcat port also because of uh, Tomcat providing by default port is uh, 8080. So the port might be using in your system okay, by other application. So we have to change the port. So here I'm showing how to change the port. So open the server.xml file. Okay. Here we have 80, this is the port, okay. So I'm going to changing the port to 8080 to 8991. And one more thing here, keep in mind, like we have to change the shutdown port also because of uh, this port also might be using. Okay. So now save it, save the file and close the file. Okay, now our Tomcat server is ready and we have copied our file to a web apps folder. And then before going to start, one more uh, pre-request step is there. That is uh, like a, we have to set up host name. 
so how to set up host name in the in the window system i can go to c drive there is a folder windows system 32 drivers and etc so here we have a, a post file so here we have to give your host name uh, so by default ip is the 127.0.1 so there we can give our host name whichever whichever you want whatever you want okay so now i have given this one so i'm going to use in this one okay so you can also give like a 127.0.0.1 and openm.narayanatutorial.com okay. after uh, adding this line you have to save it so then it will, it will ask uh, administrator rights administrator credentials then you have to give the administrator credential okay after that uh, go to wherever uh, tomcat is there so here we have a top get correct so go to win so you have type it cmd so type catalina dot bad how to start the top get so we have to type catalina dot bad space run so it will it will it may take a few seconds yeah now tom get started successfully now go to open am yeah. Uh, yeah you can type open am dot narayana tutorial dot com 8991 slash am yeah here you can see configuration options here we have a create default configuration and we have create new configuration okay so uh, right now in this video I'm, I'm going to showing create default configuration uh, create new configuration details i have given in the description so you can go through that so click on create default configuration so click on accept the license agreement so here we have to give admin, uh, am admin uh, password so here i am giving admin one two three four one two three four so then you have to click on create configuration so then if you see in the custom configuration they have a multiple number of options we can give but here there is no any option so click on create configuration this installation may take few minutes okay so it depends on the system performance so please wait yeah here you can see configuration completed okay so proceed to login so I will tell some differentiation between uh, default installation, custom installation. So default installation, it will not give any option to give any external configuration. But in the custom configuration, it will give the options to configure external any configuration of OpenDG or something like a installation directory under. So, so that is the thing. So in the uh, uh, default installation, it will take the by default uh, installation directory path. Uh, so that is the i will show you where the where the open name is installed so go to c drive so users so uh, what is the system username this is the my system username so here you have a am so this is the installation folder so by default it will take under the user directory okay so if this is the installation in this this is the open ds okay so in the default installation open dj installed by default that is called that is calling as embedded open ds okay now uh, enter the username what is the username am admin is a default fixed uh, username okay and what is the password we have given admin 1234 so see we are able to log in into the system yeah in, uh, here you can go to uh, top level realm. Here you can see identity store. So here embedded open DJ. So this is a installed by OpenAM software it, uh, by itself. We are not giving, we didn't give any external open DJ uh, details. So this is the open D, OpenAM default installation. Yeah. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Please give comments and subscribe to get latest uh, UDS. Thank you.